So we performed at a dress rehearsal yesterday for a Handel's Messiah choir concert. I was just thinking about how much you prepare for something. We prepared for singing every Wednesday night of the week. We practiced in the night choir section, not the day choir. And there are people that didn't show up with your music, that didn't show up with knowing the stuff, that were distracted. Even if you're prepared and you understand the pitches and the rhythm and the entire music, there are challenges that you encounter that you would never think you'd be able to get through. Like while we were singing, there are people in the back row that are completely off pitch the whole time. It's not enough to be noticed by the person conducting, but it's enough that it makes it a challenge even to stay on pitch with the music that you're reading. It's a lot of fun when you meet people that are really, really committed in an endeavor of something that you're doing. But in terms of actually expecting that to occur, you wouldn't because, I mean, not that you expect everyone to master the material, but you wouldn't really see that obstacle coming because you expect everybody to be trying to at least understand the material that you're practicing before the concert, which is tomorrow. I just watched a concert where Eric Whitaker's choir got to sing to Hans Zimmer's time from inception. The way in which music connects all of us in terms of how we feel, and it's able to communicate, I think the Greeks, I don't remember who said this, but it was it's the movement of invisible internal objects. Power of music, even the lessons and the lyrics, I'm listening to Hamilton as well, emphasis in the song and the characters and the development and how much it's condensed and how much meaning can be packed in such a short time. It's like the audio version of a video in a way, but you can loop audio and video and make it even more powerful when there's music and there's motion picture behind it. You can actually see what the song should be communicating. What is it about music that connects all of us? Is it the, is it like the movement and the melody? And why do we get goosebumps when we hear specific chord changes? Like I listen to certain songs and the progressions of the songs shift in the key or the modulation that like gives you goosebumps. It's so, it's so interesting why that happens. You know, that's what I've been pondering today. Just the power of music and and even when people are like singing in Latin, which we can barely understand, don't even understand the words nonetheless, and the music and melodies and harmonies and dissonance created still is enriching and life-changing in a way. Like, it's almost like it changes and we don't even understand how it changes us. The power of music, my Veda thought for you today. Keep being you. Don't forget to be awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Everybody, Paul, good. Bye. Almost done with Veda. Not much more.